Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the impeller from the impeller shaft on your snowblower. And the impeller I'm going to be showing you how to remove today from the shaft is basically from an NTD snowblower like this. I've got one here out of a snowblower and one of the issues that people have when removing the impeller from the shaft is that it's rusted or fused onto the shaft. Also the two roll pins over here can be difficult to remove as well if they're rusted. In the video I'll show you today how I remove them to start off with and if they're stubborn then I'll show you what I do as well for that. The very first thing you want to do is remove the two pins. I've got it set up in my vise like this. Now you're going to need a larger roll pin punch, preferably one like this or similar. And you're also going to need a quarter inch or three sixteenths roll pin punch. Today I'll be using a quarter inch one. And also a large hammer as well. Now a good thing to do before you remove the pins is soak it with some penetrating oil. I've soaked it earlier this morning. It's been sitting on here for quite a few hours. This will help you to get the pins out as they're going to be lubricated. So you can be quite liberal with the penetrant. And also let it soak there for a few hours or even a few days if you have time. Also do not forget to wear safety glasses. Now what I like to do is start off with the large punch and just tap it down. I like to tap down the pins flush with the collar of the impeller here. I'm going to grab my quarter inch punch and punch it right out. This is the harder part I find. Now the punch gets tight in there sometimes. That's why after I get the pins part way out I use a 3 16 punch. And I've got one of the pins out. They're actually rolled pins. It's actually metal that's rolled. They're actually stronger than your average roll pin. Now hopefully the other pin will come out as well. Now once you get the pins out, usually the impeller is going to be fused to the shaft because of rust. So it's going to be pretty well impossible just to get it out by hand. Because of that I've set the impeller on the vise like this. Again put a lot of penetrating oil here. Now if you don't plan on reusing the shaft, you can hit it with a hammer. However, I would discourage you from doing that because sometimes it'll mushroom and it's hard to get through the impeller. You can also put a piece of wood here to soften the blow on the shaft though. What I usually try to use is a quarter inch grade 8 bolt. I stick it inside and then I just pound it out. Now the bolt is sacrificial, it's probably going to get bent, but it's a small price to pay to get this impeller out properly. Now I must say it went pretty easy today to remove this impeller because I didn't really need to use too many tools to do it. However, it's not always the case. Oftentimes they're going to be fused on there and no matter how hard you hit it with a hammer, it's not going to come off. So in the next part of the video, I'm going to show you what to do if everything is seized up. Well, if your impeller and the pins are seized, you're going to need some heat. Today I'm going to be using oxyacetylene torches. So guys, if you can afford to have a small set of oxyacetylene torches in your shop, it's going to help you a great deal. I also have a video review on this set here. You can go watch it. There's a link underneath today's video. I can't stress enough how valuable these are going to be in your small engine shop. Now here's an impeller with a shaft and I tried to remove the pins, but they're seized in there. They did go down flush to the collar of the impeller, but that's as far as they're going to go. So what I'm going to do in this case is heat up all this part here. Then as soon as it's red hot, I'm going to go again with my roll pin punch and try to get them out. You got to go quick after you get the heat off. And be extremely cautious here because the impeller is super hot. Now make sure you have good gloves, flip it upright. 
Now what I'm going to do is spray some penetrating oil here. Since it's hot, it's going to creep right down between the shaft and the impeller. Now when you're just about to do this, make sure you ventilate your shop properly. Also any kind of oil will work. The heat helps it to go down. At this point I'm just going to leave this here for a few minutes and then try to pound it out. Now I'm going to use my little grade A bolt. Again guys, make absolutely sure you have safety glasses. Again, I'm going to use my bigger punch and it actually goes on top of the bolt. Also, if I would have had the same problem removing the shaft as I did with the pins, I would have heated the collar on the impeller on both sides. In that case, I would have heated up this side and also this whole side here. Now, another trick as well is if you go to remove the pins and they start to mushroom up on you and you know they will not go through the hole, is you can flip it over and try from the other side. If they're mushroomed on the other side as well, just grab your angle grinder and cut the pins right flush with the shaft here. Then by being flush, you can just grab your quarter inch roll pin punch and they're not going to mushroom on you. Now I've got another impeller here in my shop. I had a whole whack of them with the impeller still on the shaft. I'm just going to sacrifice this one and show exactly what I do. I just basically go down here. And this is exactly what it would look like once you've cut it with the grinder. And then you can proceed with your roll pin punch and remove the pin without having it mushroom on you. Once you cut it like this, you should replace it with a new pin. Just another quick tip, if you're going to reassemble all these parts together, I highly recommend that you use anti-seize on these parts. And also if the pins are in good condition like this when you remove them, you can reuse them. And basically you would reinstall them the same way using the hammer and the punch. So I hope this video will help you out or has helped you out in your repairs. Please subscribe. You can check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and Instagram. All the links are underneath today's video to go there. Thanks again, guys, and you can see me in my next video. Have a great day.